What's up guys, Giaquinto here bringing you another video. We're going to look at some more Destiny today and I'm going to show you guys how to get guaranteed legendary armor. And I'm also going to show you guys a great method that I worked up for farming Ascendant materials. As you may know, there's an event going on right now called the Queen's Wrath. And during this event, you have special bounties and you have a special shop. You turn the bounties in like any other cult or the Vanguard and Crucible shopmasters to rank up and gain access to higher level gear. Then you can use that higher level gear to your advantage in the Crucible. You can gain some awesome dies, you can get a nice title or just a pretty accessory to wear in your character. But that isn't the main focus here. This is the shop, so if you follow my character along here, you know where to access the shop. But if you go to the person who gives you the bounties, the bounty tracker, you will see that there are Queen's Wrath bounties. When you complete these bounties, you will have access on your map. You will see that a Queen's Wrath story mission will open up. So once you turn it in, you're going to come back to your world map. Sometimes you may have to turn two in and you're going to gain access to a level 24 mission. Now, I'm gonna warn you ahead of time, the enemies do hit hard, so definitely be prepared. As you can see on your screen here, I'm going through one right now. This is the end boss for the Venus Queensguard mission, uh, the Gate Lord from the story. Uh, when I take the Gate Lord out, you will see that I get a legendary piece of armor. Now, every time you complete a level 24 mission, you're guaranteed to get a legendary piece of armor, which is kick-ass for the players who are casual or don't have the time to farm up gear like the hardcore players do. That gives them the chance to catch up with the light levels and participate in things like the Vault of Glass and just the higher level strikes. So I'm going to show off the statistics. I already have a piece here. This is the Queen's Guard's Mask. And I mean, it's awesome. I use it and it's helping me. Uh, being that, I had to redo a character on PS4 because I have a copy on Xbox One and I'm trying to catch up with everybody so I can participate in the Vault of Glass. And I'm going to get a chess piece here. Now, these pieces, these armor pieces, you can actually get multiple copies. Let's say you complete a strike on, not a strike, I'm sorry, let's say you complete a story mission on Venus, and you go back and turn another bounty in, and you have another story mission on Venus, you're still going to get rewarded an item. And it can still be the same item, it may be a different item, but you can farm these items, you can dismantle your copies for Ascendant Shards, which you can use to upgrade your legendary armor. I'm not sure if you get any weapons from this, but I would assume that if you dismantle those, you will get the other Ascendant material to upgrade your weapon. So this is a kick-ass way to catch up with the light levels, you know, upgrade your gear, and for those who don't have any legendary gear at all, you finally have a chance to get something. So I really hope you guys enjoy this method. And another thing you should know, when you turn one bounty in, go ahead, go back to your world map, and do another mission. Don't turn everything in at once. Just to be on the safe side, just to make sure that for every bounty you turn in, or for every two bounties that you turn in, you're getting something out of it with a level 24 mission. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This has been Geopunter718. Have a good night, guys. Later.